Okay, so uh, this one we're gonna work with crossbody escape. My opponent escaped from crossbody, so I'm gonna turn it into an arm drag and attack his back. So it kind of looks like this. We can do it very slowly. So he has good control position here, or I have good control position. His hand is in a good position so that I don't attack his arms. So he shrimps out. He brings his hand in front of me because he wants to avoid leaving it there so I can overhook it. So as he brings it in front of me, bring it in front of me, what I do is I reach across and I grab it. So I grab his wrist and I slide my other leg backwards and I start to turn him to his stomach. As I'm turning him to his stomach, I want to make sure I keep security on that arm. And then I start to turn him to his stomach. So now he's completely face down. My arm is already around his neck. I start to put pressure and I inch back. As I'm continuously putting pressure on the arm, and I like, catch his back from that point. Try it again. Cross body position. He shrinks out. Brings his arm across in front of me to avoid the overhook. I reach inside. Have good security on his body. I turn him over to his stomach. And I put a lot of pressure on that arm. So as I switch my hip, it puts a lot of pressure on his shoulder and on his elbow. My arm is already around his neck, and then from here I start to put pressure. As I'm moving backwards, I'm continuously putting pressure on his shoulder so that I can finalize my job. One more time, and that's how we we'll switch against that after. Just for the visual. So his arm is in good position. He stretches out. I give him the space he needs. The arm is in front of me. He's straight arming me at this point. Go onto the back, leg backwards. I turn into the stomach. I turn my hip. Pressure, pressure. Then I start to inch back as I'm applying that pressure. Just learn from a different angle. Like that. Step out. Reach under, I grab the arm, reach over, slide the foot back, I start to yank into his stomach. The arm goes around his neck, I apply pressure, I turn my hip to the floor, and I continuously start to pull this up as I'm going backwards, so I make sure that he stays on his stomach. And I finalize my toe. Again. Turn to his stomach. Wait. And attack his back. 